so this is an example of um, using some roots to get other roots. And you'll have to, on the test, write this problem in factored form and give all the zeros. So right now you already know two of the zeros, 3i and negative 3i, and so we have one more zero to give. And so if we divide in the 3i, we get 1, negative 2, 9, negative 18, drop the 1, we get 3i, they retain their signs when you add, so that's 2 plus 3i, that becomes negative 6i minus 9, the 9's cancel, 3i times negative 6i is positive 18, and that's zero, and you know you're doing it right if you're getting zeros when it says they're zeros. And then we keep going, and that's some, one thing some people miss is to, they forget to keep going there. And so this is negative 3i going in now. So it's 1, negative 3i, the i's cancel, you get negative 2, that becomes positive 6i, that becomes zero. And so this first factor here, the 3i, is x minus 3i. And the second factor here, the negative 3i, is x plus 3i. And then the third factor is this 1 and the negative 2, and that becomes x minus 2. And so the other root is um, not minus 2i, just minus 2. So the other root is positive 2, but if you were to write the equation in factored form, these two pieces right here multiply out to be x squared plus 9, and then this piece right here is x minus 2. So here's your factored form, here's, your, here's all of your zeros. On the test, the question like this, you have to give both the factored form and the zeros. In the next example, you'll be given roots and have to find the equation. And so you'll have to be able to multiply out x minus 2 minus 3i times x minus 2 plus 3i. And notice that it's minus 2 both times. The only thing that changes signs is the i, is a negative and positive. Most students who get this problem wrong will set it up wrong because they have the wrong signs when they write it out. So if I multiply this out, I get x squared, and then I have minus 2x and plus 3ix. And then when I multiply out the next section, I get a minus 2x and a plus 4 and a, a negative 2, sorry, I get a, um, I get two, negative 2 times 3i, so negative 6i. And then when I multiply out the last part, I get a negative 3ix, a positive 6i, and a mm, positive 9. So that becomes x squared minus 4x plus 13. And I have to multiply that by this root over here by x minus 4. So you're going to keep going with that to get the final solution.